Lisa. Yes. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm great, and thanks for coming to us today, Joshua, from England. It's got to be kind of fun. Um, it is a I, little fun. <laughs> I had a great time at the movie. I thought it was it was fun to watch and a little bit scary. Are you a scary movie fan? I am a scary movie fan, yeah. I think when scary movies work, they're, they're, it's too much fun to sit in a theater and you know hiss at the bad guy and scream when you get scared. That's good. That's what movies are for, right? Yes, I agree. And um, tell me, what what do you think is the scariest thing of th about this movie? Uh, you mean other than the twelve foot wolf that's chasing people around LA and eating them? See, the part that scared me was just where it, where it would make you jump. You know what I mean? Where he'd pop out of nowhere, or, you know, right. reach well, in and grab you. I mean. That's sort of, that's the Wes Craven special, right? I mean, to, to keep you on your toes and surprise you and keep you guessing. You never quite know where it's going to show up next. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it has all of those, it has all the elements of, of a good horror movie, I think. It, it keeps you guessing. You don't know who is or who isn't the bad guy or girl. And then every once in a while, it just makes you jump out of your seat and scream. <laughs> that's right. And uh, how was it working with the master, Wes Craven? But it's always, he, he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's made a couple horror films, this guy. Uh, I think he's got a long career ahead of him. So it's nice to be on a set with a director who is comfortable and knows their, their game. And he also works with a lot of the same people over and over and over again. So you sort of, you're stepping into something that is, I guess, cut from whole cloth. They know their business. They're going about it. It's, there's no tensions of, of egos and personalities because they've all been doing this for so long that uh, they're long past that, I think. How did this film come to you? Well, obviously, Kevin Williamson uh, and I go back a couple of years. So he brought it up to me first, and then, and then I actually went in and met with, with Wes and uh, Marianne Madalena, the producer. And uh, we just, it sort of came about through that, organically. It was, it was a family affair. It was mostly Kevin. I mean, he, he said he wanted me to be in the film, so I said yes. Perfect. And um, now you've, you know, you've done TV, you've done film, you've done, you know, now you're involved in, in live theater. What, uh, which route do you plan on uh, focusing on in the future? Well, I'm, I'm hoping to do it all. <laughs> Um, I would like the, the theater for right now is very fresh it's all very new um, but I am having a ton of fun with it so I'm going to be concentrating mostly on that for the next little while and then hopefully back to film afterwards and who knows TV potentially in the future but not in the immediate future great yeah tell me tell me about the the uh, theater project that you're working on right now but I'm here working in the West End doing a play called A Life in the Theater, which is a David Mamet play, a two-hander with myself and Patrick Stewart. And we just opened up last week, and it's actually been going phenomenally well. We've been pretty much sold out every night. Um, and, uh, and it's just, it is such a, it's a vibrant experience. You know, it's, it's alive, it's crackling every night. And it is, it, it's so nice as an actor to go out and be able to deliver a whole performance in a night, I have to say. To be able to go out and just say, this is what I have and we're going to do it and we're going to do it well, hopefully. And uh, this is the story that I want to tell you. It's just too much fun. And to work with somebody the quality, the caliber of Patrick Stewart, it's got to be a great learning yeah, experience well, and inspiring. That's been... That's been the great story of the last couple of years of my life, that I've had the opportunity to be around some really, truly wonderful actors. Patrick right now, I got to, a chance to work with Donald Sutherland. Um, so that is, you know, the challenge for me as an actor is to continually grow and get better. And I think the best way to do that is to work with good people who know what they're doing. So that's, that's why I'm here right now doing this with Patrick. And Christina Ricci falls into that category as well, she I'm does. thinking. Absolutely, from yes. <laughs> Yeah, you had a absolutely, you had a absolutely. a really really fun cast to work with. Was there some some camaraderie and and things like that? Well, uh, oddly, <clears throat> I I have worked with this is the third film that I've made with Christina. So there was actually a a, a camaraderie that predated this film, uh, which always makes things easy, particularly when you're you know when there's kissing involved. Uh, it does make it easier when you've actually met the person before you are sticking your tongue down their throat. So. 
um, that did help and, and Michael Rosenbaum I had worked with years ago so there is a, a certain amount of camaraderie though most of my work in honesty was with Christina so it was usually just the two of us and occasionally Jesse on set together and would this be the most special effects laden film that you've worked with so far by far yeah it's it was by far the most technically intricate film that I have worked on um, in fact I have very rarely done anything that it, that has special effects in it but to this there was I don't I can't remember a day passing where we didn't have the visual effects guys there and somebody running around in the wolf suit and um, and all the things you know digital artists that come in and they want to see the space because they're going to be painting in this and removing that and it, it was a whole other ball of wax it was actually quite interesting not to mention we had a hell of a lot of stunt guys as well because there's a lot of stunts in the film so we had wire work guys and stunt guys and explosions guys and this and that and that. I mean <laughs> it was a whole other kind of filmmaking from what I've done before so there were some actual things going on most of the special effects were not CGI they tried, there was a real desire on Wes's part to keep things to, well, the term for it is practical, to keep it practical so that it was immediate. Um, there is CGI work in the film. Uh, I think that our monster kicks ass, to be perfectly honest, uh, and that a hell of a lot of work went into the creature design. But uh, I, it was Wes's desire to not make it look... Because I, and I, as an audience member, I don't like looking at CGI things. I think you can always tell. So I think it was Wes's desire to keep it to keep it immediate. Also, I think for the actors, so that you you are reacting to something, not just an empty room. Yeah, that's that's got to make it uh, better for you as an actor, I'm sure. And um, the wolf, makes, I thought he looked yeah. very real. <laughs> yeah, I I think so too. I think. Uh, I'll give a little tip of the hat to our boys who created it. I think our wolf is the best wolf that's been on camera because there have been a lot of werewolf movies in the last couple of years, and I think our wolf kicks ass. <laughs> he really does. And <laughs> yeah. Looks like he, he wants is to the big bad wolf. Too. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, he. <laughs> he scared me. Now, who do you think? Uh, who do you think this film is for? I mean, it's not so creepy that even like you know junior high kids can see it, wouldn't you say? Well, yeah, I, I would say, I would say it actually is a pretty broad film. It's not, it's not so disturbing. It's not something like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which, or even The Grudge, which is probably not for younger teenagers. I would say this is a is a good date horror film. And yeah, I wouldn't if you know if if you have a 15 year old kid, I wouldn't be too worried about going to let them see this film. Though it will scare them a little bit, which I don't think is a bad thing. It is a horror film after all. <laughs> Yeah, your point is well taken on a good date horror film because it's it's not going to gross you out with blood and gore, but it's going yeah, to it's not... keep you to make you scared and and keep you in suspense. Yeah, exactly. Well, it, you know, it's not by accident that the guys who made Scream made this movie. So I think it's a it's very much in the same vein as that film, which didn't you know it didn't there weren't it wasn't a buckets of blood movie. It sort of kept you on the edge of the seat with the tension of what is about to happen. I don't know who is it, who's the killer, who is not the killer, rather than you know severed heads rolling down hallways. <laughs> right. Just a quick little a quick little summary of the plot for me, and then we're finished. A quick little summary of the plot. Uh, it is a werewolf movie that follows the the life and times of uh, of a family in L.A. as they are hunted by a werewolf. Excellent. Thank you so much, Joshua. <laughs> no problem.